Hey guys, in the previous video we showed you how to work with the top nine elements. In this video we're going to focus on these six elements that are designed to build forms. Okay, first let's add a row. Okay, we're going to drag and drop it here. Okay, now let's create two columns. Let's edit the columns, create a layout, a layout of two columns, and save and close. Okay. Now, let's drag a progress bar to the top of, of, one, of one of the columns. Okay, so the progress bar will indicate that once people submit the form that we will add here, there will be a second step. If you want to use this, uh, you're free to do this. Uh, so we're, we're showing you how, to, how this option works. So we can change the layout, layout here. We're not going to do this. Okay, let's continue. Let's add a header that will be the title of the form. And let's say complete this form for access, just as an example, okay? Now, let's add a ready-made form. Okay, now we have a ready-made form and you can click on the pencil uh, pencil icon to check each of the form fields and edit them, change the placeholder, ch and change the type, and so on. Okay, well, we're oh, if you want to add another form field, you can drag one from, from the elements that we have. And let's also edit it, for example, just to show you how it's done. For, okay, so we have the placeholder text. Let's add a placeholder text here as well. Okay, the card number. And let's mark the field as required. Okay, this is just showing you how it works. The same with the button. Uh, you can click on the pencil to change the link. So you'll submit the data, you, you'll collect all this, all this information and send the users to a different web page. Okay, now let's see the other elements. Okay, now, now let's add a checkbox. Okay, let's click on it and duplicate it a couple of times. Okay, now we have a checkbox with three options. Later on in the management step of, of the page setup, you can see that all of these form fields will be collected and sent to your web app. Okay, so this is the checkbox. You can click on the pencil icon and just to change the style, different attributes. Okay, let's add another element. So this is how the checkbox works. Let's add a select option. Okay, in the select option, let's click on it and click the pencil icon. Okay, here we see the placeholder text. If we remove the placeholder text, the first option, te the text of the first option will be, vi will be visible. So let's, for example, do that just to show you. Okay, you can see number one is here. Or we can just say, example, and this will be the placeholder text for everybody to see. You can add a couple of options or you can remove them easily from here and mar mark the select field as required so that, every, so that everybody completes it. Okay, let's add another element, which is the radio button. This is the final element that we're going to show here. Okay, the radio button also has different customization options. So by clicking on the pencil icon, we'll be taken to the inspector tool where we can once again change the text, give the, for, uh, the form field a tag that for you to see, remove a form field, add another one, and mark, mark the whole box as required. So let's add a radio button. Yeah, you can see how it's done easily. So here it is. Okay, and that's it for, uh, for form creation. Thanks for watching and have a good one.